in this lecture we are going to analyze in depth for only inductor in this lecture we will see only for inductor how it will behave like when we give the dc voltage now remember in the transient generally what do you mean by transient so transient state generally is called uncertainty that means suppose when i give some voltage dc voltage to an inductor it will oppose that voltage that means in that the moment when we apply some sudden changes at that instant of time so we don't know what is the state of the inductor right so that is called the uncertainty or generally we say transient state so in inductor there is a transient state and there is a steady state so steady state means when you apply this voltage continuously up to infinity time the inductor will reach it it is it's a steady state that means at the steady state the current will be definite that is generally generally we take it as il of infinity right so transient state as well as steady state so transient state is like a uncertainty state the steady state is the final state or it is called a stable state right at the stable state we will have a finite values now in the previous lecture we have seen how the inductor will behave at t equal to zero minus and t equal to zero plus t equal to infinity i told you at t equal to zero minus it is nothing but minus infinity to zero minus that means it is reached its steady state that means the current should be finite so that current i am taking as a il of zero minus in the next is t equal to zero plus that means after we apply the voltage right at t equal to zero the next moment what will happen so the next moment the inductor will oppose the sudden changes that means it should behave like a open circuit so open circuit means there is a no current but already it is stored something that should be we have to take the finite value see whenever there is a uncertainty that means we should take some finite value that we will take is a previous value that previous value is nothing but i love zero minus so at t equal to zero plus for inductor what is the present value is all is always equal to the previous that is il of zero minus the next one is t equal to infinity that is again it is reached to steady state after we switch closed or t equal to zero when we apply some voltage so that is represented by il of infinity and remember the energy stored in an ind inductor at instant of time it is nothing but half l into i square right if it is at t equal to zero minus half into l into il of zero minus whole square if it is at infinity it is half into l into il of infinity whole square because of time uh, um, i'm not going for the in-depth analysis how we got the energy stored like half li square like this right so you can remember half into li square is the energy stored in the inductor at instant of time it may be zero minus it may be infinity right next we will see analysis when inductor is connected in a circuit how to analyze so now see when you observe this circuit there is a switch this switch is closing to position 1 and position 2 at t equal to 0 this position is changing to 2 that means in the previously it was at position 1 that means we have to analyze in three different conditions t equal to 0 minus 0 plus and t greater than 0 now I told you at t equal to 0 minus the inductor will behave like a short circuit. So in place of inductor we are becoming a I mean making a short circuit. But this switch position we have to see. It may be given in the question or it may be we have to assume like this. Whenever this arrow is down but that is position 2 that means it is already in position 1 for longer time. So whenever it is position 1 so it will become like this on resistor R and the inductor will behave like a short circuit. Now, if I take this value, I love 0 minus is nothing but V by R. Only V and R is there, or is I, V by R. Now, we know I love 0 minus. Next, we have to see at T equal 0 plus. That means, this switch is suddenly closer to second position. That is the source we are removing. Now, I told you, in our T equal 0 plus, that this inductor should behave like an open circuit. That means, it is opposing the sudden changes but what is the previous current it is il of 0 minus so il of 0 plus is nothing but il of 0 minus which is on nothing but v by r so already we defined now the last next case is 
t is greater than 0 so t is greater than 0 is same as this but inductor should be there and the inductor initial current is i of 0 minus should be there which is nothing but v by r right so this is the three different conditions now we will see how to find the the current expression for t greater than 0 so for that we need some basics about the differential equations so i hope everyone knows now the for t greater than 0 this is the circuit we do we should take that is r there is an inductor l this is i l of t this is l but initial current is there which is nothing but i l of 0 minus which is v by r now it's very simple we need to write one expression now remember if there is an inductor what is the current expression i l of t is nothing but 1 by l integral v l dt if i need v l of t it is nothing but l into d i l by dt so we have to remember these two expressions in terms of inductor now if i am applying this kvl up across this loop so it is touching with the r so r into i l of t plus now i need a voltage so this is the expression for voltage so l into d i l by dt which is equal to zero now it's very simple it's looking like a first order differential equation and we can go for variable separable method that is r into i l of t is equal to minus l into d i l by dt right now d i l is here and i l here so i can take this i l that side on this dt and l this side so it will become minus r by l dt is nothing but 1 by i l into d i l now what is the next procedure we have to integrate and there is a constant plus k now this is the constant i will get minus r by l into t is equal to 1 by x nothing but ln x so ln i l plus k i need i l so what i will do that k i will make this side so this will become minus plus k is here minus k so okay not constant is it may be minus it may be plus i can add here also constant now it will become i l of t is equal to this is ln so e power minus r by l into t into e power k or minus k so this e power k i will have seen simply capital e now this is the the current expression when t greater than 0 but this is a now how to find this value because we know that i l of 0 minus is equal to already v by r or i l of 0 plus that means at t equal to 0 this is the value so v by r if i substitute a into this is 0 so it is 1 only so a is nothing but v by r this is a so the final expression is v by r into e power minus r by l into t this is the t greater than 0 i l of t that means see always the source free network the inductance current is always exponentially decreasing function because this is e power minus x right why it is decreasing because this inductor is initially stored something now this resistor is want the energy from this inductor so inductor now will behave like a source for the resistor so it is having some in initial energy then it is providing or it is giving to the resistor that means it is losing energy its energy at the instant at the infinite time this energy will become zero because this if you substitute t equal to infinity you will get i l of t equal to g so what is the energy half into l into i square so energy is zero that means it will give its total energy to this resistor and this resistor will dissipate the that energy in terms of heat right now this expression i can write in a different way that is like this <coughs> i l of t is equal to v by r into e power minus t by tau now what is this tau here tau equal to time constant so this is r by l right this is the time constant in an index 
so if i replace with tau here so this is so now there is a reason tau is equal to not r by r it is l by r so time constant in the inductor is l by r so when i substitute here so i will get r by l as like this so this is tau is equal to l by r this time constant in inductor always remember this is about the source free circuit and the analysis always remember the il of t should be exponential decaying function right it is like this and t is here this is il of t at initially u by r but when t is up to i mean it is increasing the current will decrease right in the next lecture we will see the with source right and t less than zero so there is a source and t greater than zero there is a source how we need to solve 